I'll be expecting you. Remind me to wash my car at 6 p.m. Reminder saved. Wash my car at 6 p.m. Samsung reminders have come a long way. Many years ago, Samsung Reminders was just too basic as a standalone app on the phone. It's a different story today. The Reminders integrate with Bixby, Galaxy Watch, and the whole Samsung ecosystem is just brilliant. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use it to improve my productivity. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. This is going to be a long video about Samsung Reminders. Feel free to use the timestamp below to jump through different sections of this video or just watch along and I'll comprehensively cover how I use Samsung Reminders. If you have followed me and subscribed to my channel, you might have guessed I'm a to-do list person, finding different ways to be more efficient and productive. I've used all sorts of to-do list apps like Remember the Milk, AnyDo, Google Keep, and now I have gravitated back to Samsung Reminders. The reason is because it's native to Samsung ecosystems, and it integrates so well amongst all Samsung devices. Now let's start by discussing the many different ways I create reminders. The most common times I create my reminders is when I'm driving. There are plenty of times ideas and things to do pop into my head when I'm driving. It could be anything, like when I'm listening to my podcast, the speaker recommends a book and I'll set a reminder to check out that book. Or it could be collecting my parcel at the post office on my way home from work. Hi, Big Remind me to collect my parcel from the post office at 6 p.m. I saved your collect my parcel from the post office reminder for 6 p.m. Or pull out the trash bin when I reach home. I have Remind me to pull out the trash bin when I reach home. I saved your pull out the trash bin reminder for when you arrive at home. Notice that I've created a time-based reminder and a location-based reminder. There are some pre-configuration settings we have to do in order to create location-based reminders. I'll show you how to do that configuration on the later part of this video. Bixby is also on my Galaxy Watch. So yes, you've guessed it. I can also do this. Remind me to pay my bill at 7 p.m. I save the reminder. And if I need more control, Bixby integration with reminders on the phone is actually a lot more powerful. When we instruct Bixby on the phone, I Bixby. Remind me to mow the lawn at 3 p.m. Reminder saved. Mow the lawn at 3 p.m. We have options to complete, delete, or edit the reminders straight from that Bixby screen. And if we choose to edit the reminder, this is what happens. What do you want to edit? You can change the title, time, or place. Change the time to 4 p.m. Your reminder has been changed to mow the lawn at 4 p.m. And if we choose to delete, this is what happens. Mow the lawn reminder for 4 p.m. Would you like to delete this reminder? That reminder's been deleted. Bixby is pretty intuitive to allow me to input by voice or buttons on the screens. I don't know why a lot of people find Bixby useless. For me, I actually find Bixby very useful. 
If you want to see other examples of how I use Bixby, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make a video all about Bixby if that comment gets many likes. Okay, back to creating reminders. Not all Samsung phone models have Bixby. For those models, we should still be able to create reminders directly on the phone using the following four ways. The first way is when I'm surfing a website or a web page, I want to be reminded to do something about that web page. I'll simply click share on the browser and share it to Samsung Reminder app. This reminder is then created as a web link which we can reopen the link from the Reminder app itself. The second way is to copy any text as a reminder. Imagine we come across a meaningful quote on a blog, and we want to print it and frame it up. We can select that text and share it to Reminders. There we go, we have saved the text and we'll remember to frame it up in future. The third way is to be reminded about a Samsung Note. For example, when we jot down Adam's phone number on Samsung Note, be it using a stylus on Galaxy Note or typing it on a normal Galaxy phone, Samsung Note has this Add to Reminder to turn this note into a reminder. We can then set the time to call Adam back. From the Reminder app, we can also jump directly to the note, which contains the invoice number details and so on. And finally, if we cannot copy a text or a web link, the last way is to take a screenshot and share that as an image reminder. We can also use the camera to take a photo and save it as an image reminder too. A copy of the actual image will be saved in the reminder itself. Hey everyone, if you like the tips in this video and how to use technology to be more productive, do subscribe to my channel now. On my channel, I showcase my personal tech gear and share tips on how to use my devices to be more efficient. After creating all those reminders, we can check our reminders in a few different ways too. Using the Reminders app itself, it will be the best way if we want to organize or edit the reminder. The other way is to take a quick glance using Samsung Edge. We can see all the reminders and clicking on them will take us straight to the individual reminders. And from the Edge screen, we can also add reminders or open up the actual Samsung Reminders app. Home screen widget is the other way where we can get a full glance of all our reminders. We can use this widget to quickly tick off reminders. Now while we are on the home screen widget, I'll also show you the calendar widget. Now why am I showing you the calendar widget? It's because the reminders we have just created just now, based on their due date and time, will appear on the Samsung Calendar widget too, in line with all our calendar entries. And of course, all these widgets are available on my Samsung tablet too. The last place which I find most interesting is to manage my reminders on my Galaxy Watch. Remember the reminders we created earlier? It pops up on this My Day Watch face at that hour by default, without me doing anything. 
It even displays the text of the next reminder. For more details about this My Day watch face, have a look at my other video appearing on the top right of the screen right now. And of course, there is the native Samsung Reminder app on my Galaxy Watch too. And I'm impressed we can actually do quite a lot using the app on a small watch screen. All this integration really makes using Samsung Reminders so intuitive. It's like I don't even need to think about it. Sometimes, I create a reminder using Bixby, get notified on my watch, mark it as complete, all using my watch without even opening my Reminders app on my phone. Samsung has really done a great job integrating their Samsung Reminders and Samsung Notes with their whole ecosystem. They have integrated with Microsoft services like Microsoft To Do as well, which I haven't had time to explore them. Okay, at the earlier part of this video, I showed you location-based reminder and time-based reminder. There are a lot of configuration we can actually do, but I find tweaking these two particular settings especially useful. The first one is location-based reminder. There is this places settings where we can set different geolocation to get reminders. So we can use Bixby to remind us to do whatever when we arrived at that preset location. The second useful settings is the time configuration. We can set custom time of the day we would typically set reminders. For me, I set one of the common time of the day to be 1.15pm. So with that settings, we can create a new task now. And 1.15pm will appear in the pick list. It's actually much easier to just pick that common time as compared to adjusting the time to 1.15pm manually every time. By the way, 1.15pm is usually the time after my lunch where I check my reminders to see if there is anything I can do on my to-do list. Now lastly, I want to show you some clips of how those reminders usually pop up on my devices when I'm getting reminded by them. Depending on how dramatic you want to be alerted for that reminder, you can set three levels. Light level is just a notification pop-up with a short sound. And strong level is... Yes, it will just keep ringing and annoy us until we dismiss it. And we can either dismiss it or mark it as complete or snooze for a while for it to annoy us again sometime later. The design of this user interface is actually quite very well considered. I like it a lot. Even though it took me quite a while to make this video, I actually enjoy making it for all of you very much. Now, remember to like this video if you find it useful. Simply liking this video will actually help my channel a lot too. Share this video to all your friends who use Samsung phones so they can actually be more productive too. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.